Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. In today's video we are going to continue with my NTRL Racing League, this time continuing with the main league, the Season 4 League for Round 2 at Suzuka Circuit. It's going to be dry this time, there's going to be no mixed weather or anything like that and we're going to use the typical sprint and feature race format, meaning that the results for the sprint race kind of affect how the feature race is going to go with people able to kind of make up on their qualifying positions now Suzuka circuit is one of my personal favorites for me it is the ultimate circuit ever created and it's an absolutely amazing layout now last time out we saw Jay Mira and the McLaren having an absolute whale of a time and taking some really solid results as well as the Ferrari 458 GT3 of Shikata so let's see how everybody is going to get along at Suzuka circuit but before we get into that we are going to check in with our official safety car as a bit of a you know kind of guide to a lap around Suzuka and where to really look for so we're going to start off in the Mercedes AMG safety car. As you can see, we're going to go straight down into turn one. Now it is rather quite deceiving. It looks slower than it actually is. You can really hit this with some major speed and you kind of realize that as you get to the entrance before slowing down a little bit more for the second part of the corner. As you can see, the AMG sliding out through there. Then we have the S's. This is really where you can make up a ton of time if you've got the correct car for it. Obviously the AMG safety car here runs on road tires so you're not going to see it absolutely flat out as much as you will with some of these gt3 and gt4 machines but as you can see it is a very you know technical and tight section now something to note about suzuka is overtaking well it's not the easiest once you get out of the, out of the s's you come into this section here where the right hander and then another right hander is actually much quicker than you may assume especially the first one before slamming on the brakes getting through the second right hander and beginning your charge up the hill to the notorious hairpin now there can be a lot of accidents here if people make silly moves however most of the time it was very very clean again a lot of time to be gained and lost on the exit of the hairpin before coming into these left handers where it sort of sweeps around and then tightens up on the exit before you go down the hill onto one of the longer straights of the track again a lot of time to be made up there get a good run out and you will be overtaken then into the most notorious part the uh, sweeping left hander there very very quick you can take it flat out on the softs in the group freeze um, only just at times with some of these machines before coming into the final few corners of the track good exit there is going to give you a good run down the main street as it sort of sweeps around before it straightens itself out so that is a lap of suzuka now let's go ahead and get into the action of round two of ntrl season four and we have jay mira once again on pole in the mclaren now he's going to get a bit of a poor start but however the Shikata Ferrari is going to get an absolutely rocket start. Those Ferraris insanely fast off of the line. Going into turn one he's already got himself from P3 up to P1 as we try and keep the big Mercedes alongside him. However he's going to get the inside line into the S's and Jay Mira well he's going to be pretty frustrated with that one. It just wasn't a great start but I don't think anybody really expected just how quick those Ferraris would be off of the line and then we've got the typical likes of the Porsche which really does bog down on the line. So Shikata leads the way into the, uh, sorry, after the S's. He's starting to pull away rather quite quickly. That Ferrari insanely quick on its corner exit speed as well. Absolutely uh, no match really um, for the Mercedes. The Mercedes just could not keep up with it at all on those corner exits. It was an absolutely insane thing to see that Ferrari just putting its power down, no problem. Dan, he's up in P5, which is our silver driver, and that makes him the leading silver driver of the race as he battles away with Jace obviously the 911 bogging down on the start and I'm sure Jace will want to make up those positions as soon as possible Punisher's Ace he is currently up in P7 followed by Professor Smiles again the second Porsche driver and the silver Porsche driver having a fairly decent season so far and the standing for Viper is going to be TCR Nizam really settling into the league in the Lamborghini and in his first appearance in the main league in P10 and rounding out the silvers is going to be Animal Daryl who's just had a 
bit of a poor start and uh, has lost quite a bit of time there on lap one. Now let's go ahead and check in with our group four cars. This is the bronze category and Steve is going to start them away from pole. As you can see, he's got a very, very good start there. Looking like TZR Nizam bogged down in the Lamborghini, meaning that the Porsche almost beat, um, beat the uh, GT3 Lambo off of the line. Uh, quite surprisingly, just behind him is old Codger. He's going to be a standing for Archangel as he's away this weekend, doing a fantastic job so far in the McLaren and running P2. Behind him, the favourite to basically get himself into silver for next season. Tomahawk, he's going to be running in P13, P3 in class. And then just behind him, we do have the Lamborghini Huracan GT4 of DWG, who's trying to stay in the battle there. And he's going to be making up plenty of time as they see them all uh, overtaking uh, the Ferrari of Darrell there. So that must have been where he went off on the exit of the S's there. He's going to then continue to try and work his way through these GT4 cars as soon as possible. As you can see, Dave is continuing his charge on. He's managed to stay on on the back of Tomahawk there. And then just behind them is the SLS of Jody, who's just having a very tough time here at Suzuka and really not, you know, adjusting to the SLS. It is a bit of a painful car to use, especially when you've got the likes of the GT4 Urican in the race and the GT4 Ferrari 458. So you've just got to make the best of what you can really with that car. Meanwhile, up front in the sprint race, we're going to go ahead to lap four and Jakarta is still leading in the Ferrari as uh, essentially myself and him uh, basically build a bit of a gap to the rest of the field. There is a battle, however, going on for P3, as you can see, between Mira and Timo. The Lamborghini keeping the McLaren in check. And again, looking like there is some tasty battles all the way through this field, really. And the categories are seeming to basically be doing their job, meaning that everybody has someone to race. So Timo doing a great job there, staying on the back of that very stable McLaren that Mira is in. P5 is currently Jace, just a little bit back. Uh, again, mainly due to his hampered start with the 911 RSR, really not doing very well for standing start. So he'll be glad for the feature race where we go into a rolling start so yeah he's not having the performance that he's going to realistically want from this car so far however he is keeping up with uh, p3 and p4 in terms of the silver category we have a porsche 911 rsr leading which well was professor smiles until he decided to clip the grass and spin himself around which means the standing tcr nizam uh, does a great job for Lamborghini and starts to take the lead of the silver category there. So massive well done to him on his debut in the main NTR on NTRL league. Dan also making his way through past Professor Smiles, so that puts him up to P7, whilst Professor Smiles ends up going down to P8. He's probably not going to be too happy with that one, but I'm sure he'll carry on fighting all the way until the end of the race. P9 and uh, P4 in class, should I say, goes to Punisher's Ace in the McLaren with uh, Daryl uh, just sort of getting through the traffic at this point in uh, P10 and rounding up the silver class. Really not a sprint race to remember uh, for him as he continues to adjust towards the 458's handling style. In terms of the GT4 battle, we have Steve absolutely running away with it over the rest of the GT4 field. The Porsche uh, handling excellently through the S's and such, and he's really making a good job and taking advantage of that. P2 is DWG in the Atlanta Lamborghini GT4, followed by Tomahawk and Old Codger, who are having a bit of a battle so far uh, between Ferrari and McLaren. So great to see that there is battles all the way down the field as Old Codger gets it into the sand. And uh, yeah, that's probably going to compromise his time so far. And then finally, MP5 and last overall is going to be Jody, who just cannot get to grips with this SLS AMG. Now up front onto lap six, as you can see, we've managed to finally close the gap to the Ferrari. The AMG having better straight line speed. We're going to try and run in that slipstream and see if we can make a move notoriously difficult to overtake here at Suzuka. We cannot quite get it done on uh, on the first corner. Going into the second part of the corner, are we going to be able to get it on the exit? No, we are not. We are going to drop back at least a little bit as we continue to follow the Ferrari 458 into the S's. This was really where the AMG was actually making up quite a bit of time on the Ferrari. The Ferrari, although it does have very, very good exit speed, just seemed to be a little little bit more unstable through this section whereas the AMG being the boat it is was absolutely planted throughout as the Ferrari clips the grass there on the exit however that very quick 
exit speed coming into play but the AMG definitely staying in the slipstream as we go into the right hand and very very quick through there dropping back a little bit from the Ferrari but Shikata is going to end up in the gravel and that is going to cost him his sprint race victory and P1 with only a few minutes remaining and then accidentally impedes Jay Mira there meaning that Timo in the Lamborghini does get through into P3 Jay Mira probably not too happy with that one um, but I do believe they did swap around at the end now leading the silver class it's going to be TCR Nizam however he's going to have the exact same moment on the exact same lap as um uh, as Shakar did, sorry, um, earlier on. That's allowed the onboard camera here, as you can see, of uh, Professor Smiles to close up on the back of the Lamborghini with only a few minutes remaining. Is he going to manage to claw back from that spin that he had earlier on? As you can see, absolutely flat out through there, really looking to make a move on the Lamborghini into the final few corners. One more lap to go between these two. As you can see, he's managing to absolutely rein in the Lamborghini through there much quicker, riding in the slip stream going down to turn one is it going to be able to get the move done before turn one let's have a look they are side by side come the end of the straight and he's going to probably pull off one of the best moves i've seen within ntrl in a very very long time as he goes all the way around the outside of the lamborghini and takes the lead in class what a fantastic move and done on the final lap as well excellent job by him checking in with the group fours and well tomahawk is going to have another spin a sprint race to forget for him he's really not having a good time of it on these soft tires old codger then is going to be able to get up alongside him and make a move as tomahawk is going to have a second off into the gravel just a few moments later which is going to be massively disappointing for him considering he is legitimately the favorite to take his place in silver for next season so very frustrating for tommy hawk i'm sure he'll come back fighting in the feature race now it's going to be the final lap the final few corners and the winner of the sprint race is going to be yours truly finally a win this season and a decent victory in the amg shikata takes p2 after his off uh, timo and mira swap places you see mira taking p3 timo taking p4 and a while back is going to be jace uh, just not being able to keep pace for the sprint race the winner of the silver class is going to go to professor smiles with tcr nissan a great standing drive for him from him and dan taking p3 in class p4 in class is going to go to punishers ace in the second mclaren well done to him uh, his connection managing to survive the sprint race at least once again and daryl is going to take the final silver spot now in terms of the bronze winners it's going to be stay absolutely dominating in the sprint race really well gone uh, really well done should i say uh, to him fantastic drive in the cayman there p2 going to go to dwg well done once again to him at the lamborghini gt4 proving to be a decent bit of kit old codger takes p3 in class and then we're going to move on to p4 which is going to be tommy hawk who decides to have a spin on his final lap and put himself into the barrier however he is going to manage to recover that car and finish p4 in class definitely a sprint race he's going to want to forget but i'm sure he'll come back fighting and then finally last and the race and last in the class is going to go to jody in the sls now let's move on to the fastest laps for that race. Fastest lap of the GT3s that went to Jay Mira, obviously fastest lap overall as well, a 158.898. Great lap by him great job by him although he you know kind of had that little switch around and such and the Lamborghini um, sort of making its way past after he was impeded and the fastest group four lap goes to Tommy Hawk with a two minutes 10.744 so great job by him probably a sprint race that he's going to want to forget probably as soon as possible but he does take away the fastest lap at least so again well done to him proven to be a force to be reckoned with with that GT4 Ferrari now let's move on to the main feature race it's a rolling start this time to kind of give the Porsches a bit of a hand since they absolutely bogged down on the line and it's going to be myself getting us away obviously the results of the sprint race are deciding the order of the feature race as we go into turn one it's looking like it's going to be once again myself and Shikata for the win here both cars on racing mediums I believe Mira was on the hard compound of tires and um, trying to sort of you know go a bit long into the race and maybe possibly do a single stop if he can 
So as you can see, a little bit further back, and it does end up being Mira and Timo once again with the Porsche getting a much better start, managing to hang in there uh, with Jace in P5 and obviously his teammate and the winner of the silver class in the last race, Professor Smiles, uh, currently up there. So here we go. Is Timo going to be able to make a move on the inside there, getting a much better run out than the McLaren? Let's see. Into the right hand, and Mira has that one covered off, but he clatters the curb there, and uh, that's probably going to kill him, uh, kill a bit of time off for him there. Absolutely, both. Porsche is also staying in this so well done to both of them uh, Professor Smiles definitely looking like he may end up a gold driver for next season as you can see Timo giving it a little bit of a love tap to Jay Mira there as the Porsche now gets alongside him that's Jace trying to go around the outside there and uh, I'm wondering if he's going to get that one pulled off as the GT4 cars come through and we've actually lost one of the cars which is a Mercedes and there it is Dan just stopped dead in the grass I believe that is up towards the fast right hander so let's have a look what actually happened to him and well we do now now he actually had a complete wheel failure um his, his wheel basically failed on him and uh, that meant that he had to basically you know pick up something as soon as he could and try and jump on controller um however by that time that he actually got going he was around about a lap down already uh, so really do feel for him he was you know doing rather quite well um to say he wasn't a fan of the amg around this track however that is going to drop him to p50 with plenty of work for him to do to you know try and salvage at least something from this race so massive shame for Dan there hopefully he does manage to work his way at least a little bit through the grid however again on lap one Jay Mir is going to have a moment this time clattering into the side of Professor Smiles sending Smiles to the grass Nis I'm also caught up in that and I believe Daryl as well in the second Ferrari now getting a run down the straight uh, looking like he did take the lead of that class at that point and then Mira decided to have yet another moment as he gets pushed as well uh, by Nizam and a, a you know quite a few nice pirouettes there so yeah Jay Mira just not having a race that he realistically wants to have here and his strategy of the hard tyres really not working out so far and that drops into P12 now let's go and have a look at how the GT4s got underway on the rolling start so stay obviously the race winner from the sprint race takes us away on pole for the gt4 and bronze category going into the right hander is the porsche going to be able to cover this one off and keep the leaders they go free wide there as tommy hawk goes straight down the inside and makes his intentions clear that he wants to get the race win here old codger also going through in a bit of a battle with dwg who runs a little bit wide and ends up side by side with the sls there much better start for jody on the rolling start as you can see she's going to try everything she can however However, Suzuka very notorious to overtake even in the smaller GT4 cars they look absolutely massive on this track very very uh, tight and technical Oh, Codger then, he's going to uh, basically try and make a move on Tommy Hawk here. So we're going to go into the left-hander, coming out of the S's. Is he going to be able to get a run on Tommy here? Looking like he did get a nice drive up there on the inside and looking like he's got that move completed, which he has before the right-hander, which allows Tommy to just tuck him behind there and follow as much as possible. Then Steve's going to have a moment and uh, in this instantly, Old Codger's up to the lead of the GT4 category in the McLaren. So a great start from him and that puts him in the lead of the GT4 cars after lap one so massive well done to him Steve then trying to follow down the main straight with Tommy Hawk just a little bit behind in P3 so that's your GT4 starting group now let's go into a lap five and basically at this point myself and Jakarta have got a massive gap over the rest of the field both of us on racing mediums looking like the AMG being fairly kind to its tyres in comparison as the Lamborghini there of Timo goes through this is the kind of second battle really so there's sort of two battles going on and a big gap there uh, towards the silver cars after Jace and Timo obviously Jay Mir is still trying to work his way through the field P5 currently is Daryl having a fantastic start in the silver class. He's currently leading it, which is more like what he wants to do, um, considering that he didn't have the best sprint race, so much better from him currently running p5 overall and in the lead of the silver category you can see professor smiles just going through there in the second 911 rsr followed by punishers ace in the second uh, sorry in the lead mclaren currently uh, due to jay mira dropping back a little bit 
So there goes Punish. Uh, sorry, Professor Smiles. He's going to be followed by Punisher's Ace, obviously in the McLaren GT3. Again, looking like there's plenty of pace in that McLaren here at Suzuka. So I wonder if it will manage to chase down the 911 RSR. And then TCR Nizam. He's currently running P8. And then we have Jay Mira, the final gold driver, uh, currently in P9 after working his way up a little bit through the grid, uh, but not too easy to do when you're on racing hards and you drop back so much. And then finally for the silvers we do have Dan who is currently running P15 and last. He's probably not going to be too happy with that. Nothing really he could do. Obviously his wheel failing on him um, so he can't really drive at that point. P10 and leading the uh, group fours or the GT fours onto lap six is actually going to be uh, Tommy Hawk. So he's currently in P10 overall followed by Steve. Steve really trying to keep with him but having a bit of a moment there through the S's followed by Old Coderation who's dropped back a little bit at this point with DWG beginning to close in in the Lamborghini GT4 um, so a great race and great job by him so far to continue to stay on the back of the pack and then finally we do have Jody who's currently being overtaken uh, by uh, for P14 should I say um, by uh, Dan there who's obviously trying to do a bit of a recovery drive first pit stop of the race at the end of lap 7 it went to Timo in the Lamborghini looking like the Lambo's just not being too kind on its tyres there obviously the medium's looking a little bit chewed up as he goes on to a different strategy at this point Shikata then from P2 although he was very very close in the early stages went for a bit of a pirouette did manage to keep it going though uh, thankfully but that is going to lose him plenty of precious time which meant he then just decided to go into the pits and fit some new tyres obviously the Ferrari look also looking like it's chewing up quite a bit of its tyres at that point so he's going to come out on the hard and it's going to drop him all the way down currently to P6 at least just in front of Mira there just beating Mira out. I believe Mira not pitting at this point in the race then we're going to have Tony he's currently running P10 as we check back in with some of the GT4 machinery as we can see Dan coming through he's on again his bit of a recovery drive currently up to P11 so good job by him on the racing hards as well with the 650S now currently in P2 in class um, overtaking the Porsche uh, Cayman there for P2 so old Codger just letting the traffic through there and then we also have the Lamborghini which has managed to make a move um, on the Cayman I believe the Cayman did pit rather quite early um, in comparison to some of the other cars so the racing hards working well for the Lamborghini there with P14 with uh, on the racing hards as well for Stee um, obviously a fresh set for him so he's going to try and continue his charge down the field as Jody then decides to absolutely barrier it and miss the pit entry meaning that she now has to do another lap um, to avoid that three second penalty so probably not the uh, race she's wanting at all in the SLS now let's go ahead and look a little bit further up the grid as we have Professor Smiles on a massively used set of racing hards on lap 13 uh, versus Shikata who's obviously on his charge up through the field nothing the Porsche could really do there but running P3 overall is Professor Smiles in the silver uh, badged 911 RSR then it's going to be myself um, at this point we're trying to do a one stop so the mediums are completely gone we had like 0.1 laps of fuel remaining so where is that going to put the mercedes amg in terms of coming out of the pits here comes shakar across the line as you can see the mercedes just coming out of the pits now and the ferrari is going to manage to jump us and um, those fresh set of tires for the last few laps really doing their job as well as the porsche also getting through there um, but we do know that the porsche is on pretty dead set of rubber um, and now the mercedes is going to go into a bit of a fuel saving mode as we try and make the one stop work we do manage to quite quickly get past the Porsche though, which is a good sign, meaning that we can continue to essentially fuel save and just drive around in P2 with a bit of a gap to the rest of the field as Shikata is believed to be currently on a two-stop strategy. So he does lead the way onto lap 16. As you can see, we are still following not too far behind at this point, obviously making the racing hards go as long as possible. Obviously, we're just after the halfway point of the race here. Timo and Jace, though, they are going to continue to battle on the hard tire for Timo there looking a little bit worse for wear already um, on lap 16 and Jace on the fresh set of hards on the 911 RSR so in a much better position so let's go on board with Jace to see if we can get anything done into turn one much quicker on entry there Timo looking a little bit skittish in the Lamborghini his teammate however he's going to uh, basically have a decent race so far really as he continues to lead the way after his pit stop uh, this time onto the mediums on the RSR so he's currently P5 overall and winning the silvers as Jay Mira continues his charge up the field 
in P6 and on a set of mediums now um, after binning off those hards and trying to make a single stop strategy work. TZR Nizam having a great race in P2 in silver as punishes Ace in P3 in silver. Uh, decides to go for a little dip into the gravel but does manage to keep it on track and get it going again. Daryl, he's dropped down now to P9. He's on a decently worn set of racing hards there um, again but he isn't last in class. Um, I don't think there's any way anyone can uh, be overtaken by Dan at this point. He's so far back after his wheel failure uh, and he's on a massively worn set of racing hards which means he is going to have to pit again which he does now. Now let's have a look into the GT4 battle and Tommy Hawk is leading away as Daryl goes through there um, to overlap his teammate and again uh, yeah Tommy Hawk definitely having a much better race this time as you can see a rather large gap to P2 which is currently Steve in the Porsche Cayman again running on hards and trying to go for a one stop I believe uh, P13 and P3 in class is old Codger uh, doing a fairly decent job so far in the McLaren uh, definitely looking much more racy than we thought he would and uh, doing very very well P14 goes to Dave not a great race for him really kind of quiet and sort of on his own at this point in p14 and p4 in class and jody still having a bit of a nightmare race there in the sls but you know finally starting to uh, adjust to it and getting used to how this thing handles she did say it felt like a bit of a bow um, to try and get through the corners then we have Professor Smiles, currently P3. As you can see, I believe his teammates just pit, but he's going to have a bit of a moment here, as you can see, sliding a little bit wide on the curb there and into the gravel, and that is going to drop him back to Timo, I believe, as the Lamborghini goes through. And, uh, yeah, kind of order's sort of restored there. Obviously, it's only Jay Mira that's not up in that pack. is then going to box in from P1, obviously going on a two-stop. Meanwhile, the Mercedes is going to continue chugging on into the race as we try and make a one-stop work. However, we know we are going to be very, very slow in the ending stages, considering we are having to heavily uh, fuel save into fuel mix 6 at that point. So, Shikata comes out P2, as you can see, and uh, he's going to have a bit of a you know job on, really, to get that time down. And then, sadly, well, he's going to have a bit of a moment with his teammate there, his silver-rated teammate, Daryl, giving him a little nudge and spinning Shikata around, and that pretty much ends the Ferrari's race there, as we also have the 911. Of an RSR of Jace chugging his way through um, as he continues his consistent form within all of the NTRL leagues apart really from the supercar so he's going to get up to P2 however it's not going to last too long as that Ferrari is on a much uh, much fresher set of uh, racing mediums I believe and as you can see there's going to be a bit of contact there that is going to put the Porsche wide uh, and then the Ferrari is then going to continue to work its way through and uh, yeah it's going to look a bit messy to be quite honest and I believe they are going to try and switch over positions at the end of the straight however it's probably not going to be kind of the way they expected it to with Jace telling Shikata to just you know crack on with it but Shikata adamant he's going to let that Porsche through so a little bit messy and both losing out time there uh, but the Porsche is going to get through at least for now and uh, we're pretty sure that Shikata and that Ferrari just with the pace that car has is going to be on the back of Jace in no time and he was as you can see going into the hairpin is he going to try up the inside obviously much fresher tyres on the Ferrari there he goes up the inside much better pace on the exit of corners and that is p2 for the ferrari so your race winner once again is going to be myself for the feature race making the one stop work and running out of fuel on the line as the uh, amg gt3 conks out and uh, yeah that's going to be another race win uh, so pretty happy with that p2 to shikata after his moment earlier on with his teammate p3 to jace in the porsche consistent as always and getting himself there on the podium a slidey p4 finish for timo as the uh, rear left on that uh, lamborghini is absolutely shredded at this point and finishing up the gold is going to be p5 for mira after his uh, moments early on in the race and just kind of being out of the strategy really p6 and the winner of silver once again goes to professor smiles our driver of the day so massive well done to him p2 in class and p7 is going to go to punishes ace great drive from him nizam he's going to take p3 in class and p8 overall for lamborghini great job for his debut standing race 
Darrell's going to take P9. A great race from him. Much better, to be honest, overall than he had in his original race, apart from his moment with his teammate. And P10, he finally does manage to recover. It's going to be done for the silver-rated Mercedes. Obviously, that wheel failure early on uh, really kind of, you know, cost him in the end. So P10 for him and P5 in class. Then on to the GT4s. It's going to be Tony, who takes a very, very dominant win in the 458 Italia GT4. So massive well done to him. The favourite to take the silver promotion is definitely him after that round good round by him p2 goes to old codger with a half a second penalty there and uh, yeah a decent podium finish for him on his debut standing race p3 is going to go to steve rather disappointingly i think he definitely expected more after his sprint race victory but he still at least takes something away from this race and a solid podium finish for him in class then we have dwg in p4 and then p5 and p15 last place is going to go to Jody after a very tough race in the SLS AMG. So well done to everybody for finishing the race. So let's go ahead and have a look at the fastest laps in terms of group three and the overall fastest lap. It was a two minutes dead point. 864 by Shikata in the early stages of the race so massive well done to him the Ferrari certainly having plenty of pace this weekend and he does take away the fastest lap point there for Ferrari and continues his charge up the top of the leaderboard and another Ferrari victory there it's going to be Tommy Hawk he takes a clean sweep he's took the fastest lap for GT4 a 2 minutes 13.190 in the Ferrari GT4 so massive well done to him once again fantastic drive absolutely dominant display and certainly one of the standouts so far so let's take a look at the overall standings after round two it's myself that leads on 92 points one point behind that and joint is going to be jay mira and shikata jace on 79 the best of the rest in p4 timo p5 with 70 p6 and leader of the silver is professor smiles followed by dan on 45 professor smiles certainly looking the favorite to be promoted to gold there viper obviously not taking part in this round on 34 daryl 34 in ninth place P10 is punished as ace 33 after his disconnect from Spa. Certainly cost him a few points there. Tal or TCR Nizam after on the standing is 24 points. So well done to him. The leader of bronze uh, it actually join is Tony and Steve there. So that's going to be a very interesting battle later into the season. DWG P3 on 11. Archangel missing this round with 10 points. Old Codger, obviously the standing on 7 points. And then finally in P17, it's going to be 6 points for Jody in the SL. So that's how we stand in terms of the individual. But onto the team's points, it's going to be Porsche. A pretty decent gap now at 155 points for Porsche. Second Mercedes with 143 um, after that double victory by myself. Losing a few points, sadly, uh, due to the wheel disconnection by Dan there. Uh, McLaren P3, 141. Ferrari equal to McLaren on 141. And Lamborghini on 139 of the, the final uh, standings in the table. So there we have it. That is right. Round two at Suzuka Circuit for season four of NTRL. So next up on the NTRL calendar will be Do Daytona Road Course. So don't forget to join me for that one in two weeks time. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I upload GT7 and Motorsport related content each and every day for your viewing pleasure. If you do want to help the league out, feel free to donate to my Buy Me A Coffee. It is massively appreciated. As well as check out the website, NTRL, um, sorry, ntracingleague.co.uk. As well as the Discord if you do want to get involved. That way you can kind of track everything and get involved with the league. See you later guys. Peace.